In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this farmhouse coffee table with just a drill and a saw for under $40. Farmhouse coffee tables are so popular. I wanted to create a plan that was accessible to pretty much anybody, that you could be a beginner woodworker and build something amazing. So I racked my brain and I came up with this plan. Okay, so I'm just getting started working on this coffee table build. The first thing I'm going to do is cut all of my boards. I'm going to use my sliding compound miter saw, but you could certainly use a circular saw to cut out this project as well. So I'm going to start by building up two of the ends of the coffee table first and for construction I'm going to use these two and a half inch trim screws right here and I'm going to use wood glue for the assembly. These screws make building so easy. You don't have to pre-drill and the screw head is so small it hides right in the wood so it's easy to finish. So should say also the only downside to using these screws is since they don't have a big head on them sometimes they might not pull the wood in as tight as you would want but if you're using good lumber you shouldn't need that so <laughs> that's what the first leg set is going to look like I'm going to go ahead and build one more exactly like it so my two legs are done and yes, I use the two by six on the top on purpose because it gives me something to screw a two by two to here to tie them together. Just like that. coffee table is really taking shape, I'm going to start working on the X detailing on the end while it's lightweight and easy to move around. So I've got the 2x2 two two scrap that's left over from cutting these guys and I'm just going to kind of hold this where I want it to be and then I'm going to trace the overlap. And then I can just go to my saw, set that angle and make those cuts. like that so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for the other side. I know the angles so just go ahead. And it. 
So those two fit perfect in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut two more and I'll layer those in behind it and mark where it needs to be cut, cut them and, um, and join them then. So I'm just gonna use this first one as a pattern because I know it looks good. So I just cut two more just like the first two. And what I'm gonna do is place them in position. Right there. And I'm gonna mark where they cross, cut those marks, and then put it back in. So. Okay, and I'm also gonna mark where they cross here. And then I'll just go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Okay, so it's all fit, so I'm gonna go ahead and just screw it all together. So I'm gonna attach this one first with just some screws, and then I'll attach the lower one with screws, and then the upper one, I'll touch it with a screw, and then I'll have to get a little bit tricky how that's attached there, but I'll show you how it works. So, and they're non-structural, so there's no need to stress about making it like a super secure joint. And then um, I inset it just a little bit, maybe like a quarter of an inch just to add interest so it's got like a little bit more of a dimension to it. I'm gonna do this bottom one first because it's gonna get the double screws. And the bottom one's the one that doesn't just stay in place on its own. The top one actually stays in place on its own. So this one deserves a little bit more attention. And this is where these marks come in handy. tricky. I'm going to put one of these in at an angle. The X's are all done. I'm going to put the top on. All right, so I put this center piece in just so it gives us a little bit more to tie in the top. I've got my top boards laid out. If you have a pocket hole jig, it would be a really good idea to go ahead and join all of your tabletop boards together first. That would look really good and keep the joints nice and tight. If you don't have one, this is totally fine too the way that I'm gonna do it. I mean, obviously you could do it um, you could just put the frame down and put your boards on top and screw through the top, but I'm choosing not to do that because I want to hide my screw holes on the top of the coffee table. So the tabletop boards are all in place and I'm going to start in the middle, screw those down, and then work my way out so I can make sure all the boards are nice and tight.
Okay, so the top is on. I'm gonna work on getting the slats in. And these are these boards that are left over. So I'm gonna start with the center one and then I'll just work my way out. I left an inch and a half gap under the shelf so I can just set this board on top to give me a hand doing this. I got the coffee table all built. I'm gonna go ahead and sand it and put a finish on it. So the coffee table is all stained up. I let it dry overnight and I added these brackets on the edges and I think it just gives it that final touch. I'm really excited to see what it looks like in the living room. I got this coffee table moved into place and it is so beautiful. I just love how it turned out and I can't get over that it only took me a couple hours from the start to the finish to build this baby. So guys, it's your turn now. If you need a beautiful coffee table for under $40, the plans are linked in the description. Go build it this weekend, get it done. The size of this coffee table is absolutely perfect. It's not overwhelmingly big, but it's plenty substantial and the shelf down below is just fantastic. If you would like to see console table plans and end table plans, please, let me know, either leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up, just let me know that you love this plan and you wanna see more of it. We appreciate you guys watching and can't wait to see your builds from this project. Thank you and have a great week.